bringing us to our first question tonight. Manmohan Singh, long in service, but is he short on performance? Mr. Singh, to you first. I mean, I know he's your boss and therefore it's really hard for you to assess him. But I can ask you anyway, how honest an assessment can you give, give us of, of the PM's leadership? See, sir, um, uh, the Prime Minister, well, we can say what he's brought to office has been sobriety, good governance, unquestionable integrity. He's got India on the nuclear high table. And he's formed a partnership with the chairman of the chairperson of the UPA and brought about so many schemes, be it for the poor, be it on the economic front, or be it for farmers. There's been major changes in, in this country in the last six years. And I think he's done a tremendous job with the kind of opposition and the kind of coalition government he's run in the first UPA or the second UPA. He has managed to get all kinds of diverse opinions, divergent opinions, got them onto one platform and delivered to the poor in this country, be it the Bharat Nirman, be it the Manrega, or be it the, uh, the right to education, or the right to food security with the chairperson, and he forming a partnership and getting then such why? innovative schemes in this country, which have actually touched the lives of everybody, right to the village Then level. why is there this, this perception that seems to be festering lately, especially lately, that he's, he's been silent on so many important issues, that he rarely speaks even in parliament, uh, and, and on so many issues, and we'll come to them in detail, that no, it, it's I not the same on Mohan Singh. He, uh, we are used to uh, politicians uh, talking too much. I think he talks very little, but he makes sense, believes in work more, talk less. And I think that's what we all should also follow in politics. That's a big lead we should also follow. We should be talking less and doing more. Okay, let me get first comments from the rest of the panel, Mr. Mitra. Well, I think uh, Mr. Singh said he um, talks less and works more. I think he talks less because there's very little to say. I don't think that he has um, an enviable record as Prime Minister. I think there's a consensus that he's a good man. Nobody's uh, doubting his integrity, nobody's doubting his sincerity. But the fact is that his becoming the third longest serving Prime Minister in India's history is a matter only for the record books. It is not really going to be part of India's history. But why? It is a remarkable achievement. It is a remarkable achievement in you terms all, of the uh, number I, of I'm years I'm sorry to spent. interrupt, but I mean, you all dismissed him as a nominated Prime Minister, which he was in a sense in the first term. But he was their declared candidate the second time around and they won. Still, it is, we, we all know that the real Prime Minister, the power really rests with Mrs. Sonia Gandhi. But the election was won uh, in his name? election was won, I mean, not in the Congress. Uh, our, apart from the Nehru Gandhi family, elections are never won or lost on anybody else's but name. But he was their declared candidate. He was their declared candidate when that was obvious. But you know, if, the, if um, Sonia Gandhi had decided after the election that Manmohan has already served a long time and it's better to try Pranab or like Chidambaram or somebody so else, like to state she could have done so. Nobody would ever, ever, ever question that. So I think the fact that Mr. Manmohan, Dr. Manmohan Singh is not the Prime Minister in his own right and remains a nominated Prime Minister is something that will always go against his record, always go against, against the fact that you know he has achieved a landmark. So to an extent, he will remain unfortunate for him, but it's a fact that he will remain a footnote in Indian history. No, I just like to, just one thing I like to, uh, sorry, I just like to say the BJP in the elections portrayed him as the weakest Prime Minister and they portrayed their Prime Minister candidate as the strongest candidate, the Iron Man of Indian politics. And the public of this, the people of this country, you know, what, where they voted for the weakest man or the iron man, which the BJP portrayed. The BJP has always tried to pull him down and try to portray him as a weak man or the weak prime minister, nominated prime minister. But he, for his ideals, for the nuclear deal, he did not care about his prime ministership. He well put that at stake, what he believes in, he put that at stake. He has Please, got just, just, uh, just one comment. Yeah. You see, um, weak man, strong man, I don't want to get into. But yeah, I can that's only say, that was your election. I, I, can, I can, fought the whole election as far trying as, to as far as Dr. Yeah, yeah. Manmohan Singh is concerned, I would only like to say that he is not his own man.